said they only allow vehicles from Malaysia and Singapore. Any other vehicles need to be registered with the Department of Transport. We can't go back into Malaysia and we can't go forward. We're stuck. During our four year around the world drive, we've driven across lots of borders in our UK campervan Trudy. And the reality is that they don't always go smoothly. So we're not leaving Georgia. But the process of getting Trudy into Thailand has proven to be the most challenging and stressful so far. There will be obstacles, there will be doubters, there will be mistakes. But with hard work, there are no limits. Michael Phelps. Good morning. Welcome back to our hotel room here in Penang. It's looking a little bit grey today. But this morning we're jumping into a grab. We're heading across to Georgetown uh, because we're going to go and see a Thai visa company to try and get an extension for Thailand. We normally, you can get 30 days without a visa, but we've got to time it so that we can get into China in April. So uh, yeah, we need at least 60 days. Banana Thai visa service. Okay, the good news is that it's doable. 60 days, so we've got a checklist of stuff we've got to do, like booking flights there, booking accommodation, um, and then we're going to come back tomorrow uh, to fill out the paperwork, and then the next day he'll take us to the uh, Thai embassy to, uh, to hopefully get the visa. So it's looking hopeful, 60 days is looking hopeful, which is a big relief. Good morning. We're up bright and early this morning. We're heading to the Thai embassy to have the interview to apply for our extended Thai visa. It's not even light yet. It's uh, quarter past seven in the morning. So yeah, yesterday uh, we had to drop off uh, our passports and everything to the visa um, agent. And we had to also book return flights to Thailand just for proof that we were uh, leaving. Oh, is that grab? There you go, that's good timing. And we also had to um, book a hotel for the duration, 60 days. So my buggy. It hasn't been the best couple of days. Marianne had been feeling very ill, but insisted going to the appointment as we only had a week left on our Malaysian visa and she was keen to just get it done. So she forced herself out of bed. Right and early and there's still a queue. <laughs> Popular place. Yeah. Morning. 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 You don't want this? No. Oh, oh, maybe we will really get, get, get one for you. I had put on a smart coloured shirt, but kept the shorts on as it was so hot. This is when the day took a turn for the worse. Marianne said she didn't feel well, and before I knew it, she actually fainted. <gasps> Luckily, I managed to grab her and stop her from hurting herself as she landed on the pavement. In just a couple of seconds, everything changed. My mind raced. What was wrong? Was it the heat or something worse? Should I call an ambulance? Are you okay? The visa agent that we used was an absolute legend. He got an aircon minibus and we put Marianne inside to cool down and relax. She insisted she was okay and that I should carry on with the visa. One of his colleagues brought me a long pair of trousers and he arranged for me to go into the visa center first. They even allowed me to do the application for both of us without Marianne being there. A short while later, we were all done and Marianne was soon back in the hotel relaxing. Okay, so if all goes according to plan, we should be um, getting our passports back today. The, uh, the guys from the banana agency have put them on a grab motorbike and sent them to the hotel. So I'm just waiting and fingers crossed the visa is in there and it's been approved. Okay, that looks like it. Thank you very much, thank you. We got the passports back. 
I haven't looked in them yet. You're feeling a bit better today. I'm feeling a lot better today. You look a million and one times better than you did lying on the pavement yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, note to self, don't push yourself in the heat and let your blood pressure drop. Yeah, but you're feeling good. Okay, let me check. Are you gonna check? I'm checking. So it's like Christmas. It is like, this is Christmas time. Christmas really. for us is, did we get the Thai visa? Ooh. Visas. Yes. Yes. Did they give us 60 days? March yes. 2024. That's valid from, that's, we can go in until March 2024. Amazing. So hopefully now they give us Trudy's permission for 60 days. Good job. They might. We're ready for Thailand. Yay! Well, good morning. Today is an exciting day because today we're leaving this wonderful hotel, the Olive Tree here in Penang, um, and we're heading to Thailand. How are you feeling, Marianne? My stomach is making the same noises as that. <laughs> <laughs> They've got little individual water bottles in the room to save you using plastic bottles, okay. which we love. Um, but yeah, we're heading to Thailand. So we need to go and check out. Right, let's hit the road. Turn right at the lights. Nice day today, it's not too hot. The sun isn't blasting and we saved it till after rush hour so the road should be, should be okay this morning. The drive up to the border is about two, just over two hours. We're gonna stop at the town just before the border to try and get the Thai uh, insurance for Trudy and uh, fill up with fuel because it's cheap in Malaysia. I always feel a bit nervous when we have to cross a border. You never really know how it will go. One thing I do know is it doesn't usually go as smoothly as we'd like. That's a seriously impressive looking bridge. And uh, that is the bridge that's taking us out of Penang and back onto the mainland. For those of you in Penang waiting for Penang videos, we're sorry, we ended up getting sick and uh, yeah these things happen on the road and sometimes you have to change your schedule and we couldn't stay on because our permits for Trudy are running out uh, here in Malaysia so we have to leave um, and we were planning to do a meetup in Penang so to all of those of you we apologize um, it, is, it is just one of those things you know what that means we'll have to come back we we'll have to come back <laughs> Got a great morning view of uh, Georgetown over there at the end of Penang. Thailand's up this way. It's always a little bit nerve wracking doing a border crossing because you're never quite sure what to expect. You do your research, get your paperwork ready, have a plan of action, and sometimes when you get to the border, it doesn't quite go according to plan. So fingers crossed all goes according to plan today and we can get into Thailand, because it's critical for our drive home. I can't believe our time in Malaysia has gone by so quickly. It's been absolutely amazing and uh, it's a country we truly love, Malaysia. So uh, yeah, we will definitely be back uh, in the future. Maybe we'll even do a little tread the globe trip here. What do you reckon? Anybody want to come on a trip with us to uh, Malaysia? Maybe we'll head over to Borneo. I think uh, that could be a very cool trip. Let us know in the comments if that's, that sounds good. this morning but all the fields and the grass looks like over over green it looks like it's been photoshopped it does i'm not sure whether that's because it's rainy season but it's definitely very very lush
We'd heard that there was a, uh, a few places in the town just before the border to get the insurance for Thailand and just driving along we passed quite a few insurance to tr Thailand so uh, they're, they're definitely not short of places so we'll stop uh, when we fill up with petrol at the at the next town we'll uh, we'll wander around and, and find one of those. It's interesting it says compulsory and voluntary TM2, TM3, white card and SIM card. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, this is the last town before the border. And uh, petrol station is going to be the first stop. Okay, we're all refueled, topped up, ready for Thailand, and now let's find an insurance company. Hopefully, shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be long. I can see a sign already there, Insurance Thailand. So it seems to be a little bit more complicated than we thought because they're having trouble getting the British number plate into the insurance system. They said Singapore and Malay number is no problem, but the British number is proving a little bit difficult. Okay, I expected some confusion at the border, but not trying to get insurance. That should be the easy part. But as we say, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do other than wait. And we did, for over half an hour. One of the ladies was on the phone to the main company in Bangkok. Hold on, I think she's got an answer. Okay, so to cut a long story short, they said um, that they can't do it because the number plate won't go into the system. So um, they've given us also some other forms, a T1 and a T2 form, uh, which we had to pay for. 14 ringgit um, which is more paperwork even though we got the Thai visa we need that as well so they've done that for us they said we might be able to get insurance on the Thai border as we go through I think that's the plan I think that's what we have to do so we probably need to get some Thai money in case we have to pay we headed into a nearby currency exchange office oh it looks like they also do insurance. Okay, so we're trying again. We've come to another one. Attempt just to, number just two. to verify. Make sure to see if they have the same problem. Yeah, there's a very relaxed attitude. It's like, yeah, you should be able to get it over the border, but we're not very good at, <laughs> we're not very good at should, could, have, maybes. So we're going to go for it, and we'll probably just keep asking a few more. But these ladies seem very positive. Got to try. Keep trying. It's looking very hopeful. Okay, hopeful. They're not panicking yet. We nervously waited for news. There you go. Yay! We got the insurance, they get a sticker. <laughs> Amazing, success. And that shows you you should always try twice. And uh, I think we should probably have a stop here and have a little bit of lunch before we leave. Borders, gateway services. What a relief. <laughs> I could cry. I feel so relieved now. I have, to, oh. I have to be honest, when they said uh, we can't do it, we just looked at each other and just thought, well, what the hell are we going to do now? And uh, we came here because there's a money changer and we thought we'd just try going over the border because you could probably buy it on the border somewhere. Um, but then this, this office managed to do it. So we're having a pork rice and a chicken rice before we, uh, we attempt the border crossing, just to refuel ourselves because they can take a while sometimes. I mean, I think it took us about an hour and a half to get the insurance. Some things yeah. are just meant to be. Yeah, and, reflecting uh, on this situation, we've realised that the insurance that we were trying to buy or we were told to buy at the first office was for a car. Not a van. Not a van. And it's only here when they said, oh no, it's actually a little bit more. Uh, because you, you're driving a van, aren't you? Not a car. And we were like, yes. So yeah, it was lucky. That was very lucky because we would have driven into uh, to the, out of Malaysia into Thailand and realised that, yeah, we needed to go and get more insurance. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Chicken rice. Pork rice. Amazing. And chilli sauce. 
Okay, I think we're ready. I don't think we can get any more organized, so fingers crossed we're all good. So the Thai border is just a few miles away. So let's hope that all of that planning is actually gonna work out okay. I'm sure there'll be something else that happens. <laughs> I think we're in good shape, but keep your fingers crossed. So yeah, this is also gonna be the first border crossing we've done in Southeast Asia without an agent assisting us. To do the carne. So we have to make sure that we stamp the carne out of Malaysia before we get into Thailand, otherwise we will have a big problem because we won't get our carne money back. <laughs> and just in case you don't know what a carne de passage is, it's a bit of paperwork that acts as your sort of temporary import when you go into um, certain countries. It's not required in every country, but shipping into Malaysia it was required. Um, it shouldn't be needed to go into Thailand, but you've got to make sure if you're stamped in that you get stamped out. Okay, it's time. Fingers crossed this goes smoothly. We are very nearly at the border. See you again, bon voyage, it says on the bridge. So here we go, 500 meters and we're there. So now we need to find the customs office. So it should be by the border. Vans and cars on the right, it said. Okay. That was good. 10 minutes later, we are stamped out of uh, Malaysia. Well, truly stamped out of Malaysia. We're just gonna go through the, uh, the passport control. So camera's off and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, we're out of Malaysia. That was pretty smooth. So now the first thing is we need to go through immigration to get into Thailand. Then we need to find where we do the car. That is the Thai border there. I think this might be a disaster. The corner to get round to the immigration is very, very tight. I don't know why they told us to come this way because I'm not sure we're going to get through that corner. Well, we're not. Marianne, it's a bit tight. We were right, we couldn't get round the corner. Luckily, a very nice officer moved the bollards for us, stopped the traffic, and let us go all the way to the end booth so we could turn. So we probably need to get some time money in case we have to pay. But we didn't. And as I looked ahead, we could see the car in front paying a fee. We got to the window and another officer was so kind, he said he'd waive the fee. And welcome to Thailand. Okay, we're stamped in for 60 days into Thailand and now we need to go and try and get Trudy um, stamped in. Just park up here, then we go into the building. Okay, the drama continues. So we queued up at the customs, handed them the paperwork, and they said they only allow vehicles from Malaysia and Singapore, um, and that any other vehicles need to be registered with the Department of Transport. So, um, yeah, they've given us a phone number. So now we'll give them a call. And really, I have no idea what's happening, but we're just going with it. Marianne tried to call numerous times, but there was no answer. So it's Friday and we think maybe the office is closed already because they're not answering. So we've got a hotel booked about one kilometre down the road. But I'm not sure what we're going to do. Because we can't go back into Malaysia and we can't go forward. We're stuck. We kept on trying, but there was still no answer. OK, update. It's actually a holiday on Monday as well and it's Friday today. So we can't even call the Ministry of um, Transport until Tuesday. And then he said it takes a minimum of a week to get approval. So we, he's, they've given us permission and taken our number plate and said we can drive to the hotel, which is literally just down the road. We can leave the van at the hotel, um, but we won't be able to go out and treat it. We'll just leave it there. So it looks like we're staying in this border town for at least 10 days. Let's hope it's a nice hotel. I'm gonna try I did book a really nice hotel, so last attempt. Yeah. I wonder if you can help me. I've just arrived in uh, Thailand and um, I have a British van um, and it seems I don't have the right paperwork to enter. I don't have the permissions. Um, so the lovely customs agency guy has just given me your phone number to call. Damn. I'm at Danok border. Yes, of course. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. 
He said, "Do add me on WhatsApp now." He says, "And I will send you the details of your options." He says, "But we're about to go into a five-day holiday." Okay, so Marianne's just sending him pictures of the van, and then uh, we'll see what options we have, and hopefully we can get that started today. So at least that uh, maybe in a maybe in a week's time we uh, we should be able to hit the road. It really isn't easy. You live and learn. Um, so yeah, rookie mistake. Okay, 500 US dollars. The agent here actually said if we go to the hotel with the van, he's happy for the van to stay at the hotel if we take it to the van and just leave it because it's 750 meters away. So can we just do the $500 thing and we'll just wait at the, at the hotel? Can do? Because $800 is a lot of money. What? I can't go back to Malaysia today because I've just come out. It's, it's illegal to do that. I would have to wait here and then go back. Okay, so the options we have, let me just tell my husband because he's here. The options we have is if we wait 10 days, it's $500. If we want to do it today, then it's $800. But we have to go to another border. No, I no we'll we do, can't go to another border. No, we'll wait 10 days and we'll do it here. Okay. Now we have the challenge of trying to get out of the car park as we're boxed in. Ah, luckily the car in front pulled out, but that's still looking very tight for Trudy. I can't, I can't move because of that car. This isn't great. We've ended up blocking the main flow of traffic coming over the border. That car, that car there. You know, you won't get around them. Oh no. He hasn't even parked by the... You know who that is? The it's not even by the pavement. You you won't get around there, will you? No. How much space you got on your side? I've got no space on my side. Do you know who that is? Is that yours? Sorry, I just horned. People are start, not starting to look now. Oh, he's telling you to go. You ain't gonna get out. It's alright. That that car's moving. Oh, is they in it? Oh, he's coming. No, they're, they're going. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, you got space now. Thank you. It just feels so different already. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's there, it's that tall hotel there. Which one? There's lots of... Oh yeah, There's only one. The one at the back. Yeah. Welcome to Thailand. It's a nice looking hotel. Oh, oh there's a motorhome. <laughs> oh God. That's massive. Got a bathtub. My goodness. We're in Thailand. We actually made it. Trudy's only just made it. If you're going to have to stay here for up to 10 days, at least we've got a nice big room to do it in. <laughs> Crazy. That evening we found a local bar. Despite Mariang finding a mojito, I have a feeling that the next two weeks will be a little bit frustrating. We got it. 
But the question is, are the border guards going to actually accept it now and sign us in? OK, let's have a look. Yes, it's looking good. Now let's just hope that the customs office accepts it and stamps Trudy in. Today is the day. After waiting here for so long, we're heading back to the border to see if we could finally get Trudy stamped in and legal to explore Thailand. Even though it's quite early in the morning, it's still warm. So this is the, uh, the town that we've been staying in called Danuk. I think it's about 700 meters to, uh, to the crossing. And we've decided to, uh, to walk this morning because to get back into customs, we have to sort of go in the out, if that makes sense. So uh, we just thought we'd leave Trudy and we'll walk because they don't need to see the van. We just need to try and get our temporary import stamped. This is where I've been doing my washing because obviously whilst we've been here, I've used the time to go to the laundrette. All the trucks going to the border and all these eateries all the way down the side of the road. It's an interesting place to come into Thailand. Border towns always have kind of a unique feel about them. We're nearly there. All those questions of what if start flooding into my head. I have to keep saying to myself, there's no point in worrying or thinking like that until we've heard customs decision. That's wasted energy. Although sometimes that's easier said than done. That's a cool motorbike. Okay, we're at the entrance so Camera's off, and hopefully next time you see us, we should have Trudy stamped in. <laughs> Great news, after all that wait, Trudy signed in. It's done. We're now ready to go explore Thailand. <laughs>